Oh, it's been recording. The whole time? Yeah. This video sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. And today, I'm gonna do a little bit of a review. I don't think I've done a review on my channel yet, but this will be the first one. I waited to do an unboxing, like an official unboxing on this guy. Um, I did it on my Instagram story, which I'll include in the link in bio and I'll put right here too. Um, also, shameless plug, if you're not following me on the gram, you should be. I post like all my new purchases, outfit inspiration, things like that. I did do an unboxing of this guy on there, but I didn't do an official one on my YouTube channel because I wanted to kind of live with it for a little bit before I did a review on here. So this is what we're going to do. First we'll do like a quick pseudo unboxing. So inside you're going to have the well, So I'm weird and I like to send cards to myself when I purchase things. So this is the card I sent myself. You're also going to have um, the blank index card that they always give just in case you're buying this as a gift. You can see that here. And then also your receipt and proof of purchase envelope. But the real piece de resistance is in here. And we have the Spring Summer 19 Soft Trunk from the mind of Virgil Abloh. I'll include some close-up shots as well. When I saw this on the runway, I was kind of obsessed because what's awesome about this is that it's similar to the women's petite mall, which I'll include here, um, but it's kind of like an updated like male version. And it's the first time LV has done like a trunk style, a classic trunk style for the men's line, which I just think is super exciting. It's a solar ray monogram canvas, so it's a little bit like shinier than something like my Palm Springs. It's a really nice monogram. And then on the outside, you have cask and leather. You also have this metal detail on the sides, which I think is awesome. Something that's great about this, I think it's really unique, is this little pop of orange, which kind of like goes really well, I think, with like the lighter brown in the monogram. But this little orange is kind of an ode to Virgil Abloh's days with Off-White. Well, he still was Off-White, but um, kind of his start with Off-White and then um, kind of bring a little bit of that street style of like neon vibe to Louis Vuitton house. Inside, you have the strap. So the strap is a cask and leather strap adjustable, as you can see here. You have seven holes adjustable there. It has this matte chain um, on both ends to adjust. And then on one side you have these six matte chains here. The way it connects is by this adjusting like so. And you can put that right on the ends. I don't think I mentioned, the inside of the bag, you're going to have two pockets. And on the other side, you have the Louis Vuitton patch. Okay, sorry guys, my camera just died and the monitor just totally ate it over there. <laughs> While she's working at the table, it's totally foul. Anyway, so what was I? Oh yeah, the price. So this retails for $3,550 in the US plus tax, depending on what state you're in. Pretty hefty price for a monogram canvas bag. It does have the cask and leather trim, but what's really special about this is that it's the first piece from Virgil's time with the brand. Um, really iconic, you know. I think it's a, maybe like the first person of color like at any of the major fashion houses. His background not being like traditional fashion, kind of being more streetwear, the house being super luxury and like high end, kind of those two things merging. So a lot of really cool things are happening when this came out. So this bag will actually, right now it's retailing, uh, like going on secondhand markets for like close to $4,000. If I keep it in like this condition with all the, with the box and everything, I can probably sell it for maybe close to like five or six. So the resale value on this is gonna be really good. That's something to point out with like these kind of more unique pieces. The soft trunk has come in a lot of different varieties since this one's come out. I'll include some of the other ones. One of the ones I love is the 
denim, which I think was like pre-fall. And I also love the fall winter, just the traditional brown on brown. I think that one's amazing. Might sell this one to get that one when it like officially comes out in all the stores, I think in a few months. So what do I think about this bag? So first off, what I have noticed is that if it's not completely filled and I don't have like a lot of stuff in it and I hold it, sometimes when I'm holding it crossbody, this will flatten, which can be a little frustrating. Um, so it's best to kind of keep it more full. I do use this a lot when I go to the gym <laughs> and I put like my workout clothes in like a baggie and I put them in here. Um, I do that a lot, I put a lot of snacks in here. I kind of just use this as like kind of like a miscellaneous bag, really more like an accessory. So it doesn't really hold like my laptop or iPad. It might hold my iPad mini, but um, I don't really use that as much since I use my MacBook Pro most of the time. So really, this is purely an accessory bag. It's not the most practical. Um, it is definitely more practical than my Palm Springs or my Jacquemus bag, because let's be real. Um, but it is a great bag. It really elevates any look. I'll include some shots of me wearing it here as well. But all in all, I do really like this bag. I think it's a really great additional piece to my collection. If I did have to make a few complaints, it would just be that, for one, this um, matte chain material, it kind of chips at the orange within um, the attachment. So if you look at the inside, if you can see that, it um, the inside isn't as orange as the outside just because it's kind of been chipped away and that's just from like wearing it and just it kind of like scratching in between. Um, I have like manhandled it and I think I'm, I don't baby this bag, but I don't like rough house. I've used it maybe like 30 times or so. Um, another thing is that, like I mentioned before, this part flattens sometimes when you hold it as a crossbody. So that can get kind of frustrating if it's not completely full. If it is full, you don't get that kind of flattening. And another thing is that the sizing is just a bit awkward. It doesn't really. It holds a good amount, but it doesn't hold like a laptop or an iPad or something like that. It's about to die. <laughs> wait, wait. Oh, all in all, I do really like this bag. I do recommend it. It is pricey, but it's pretty iconic. And it, for guys, it's something really cool. It's kind of a piece that embodies the whole Louis Vuitton brand. And it's something kind of that the women have always had. And now look at it a little bit of. So. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up. And don't forget you can find me on my blog, thewalksvchoice.com, and my Instagram, just my name, jtivitz. So I'll see you guys on the next video.